So you want to speak to Michael. Okay, Doc, you want to speak to Michael? You can speak to Michael. But I've got it from here. You can leave. See, it's a funny thing. Labels. Michael, Mikey, Whiplash, Gilbert. So, the doctor wants to know why Michael does what he does. So Michael, why, why do you actually do what you do? I mean, we've spoken to Stevie and we've spoken to Renfrew. And uh, a big part of that is family. Turning on one another, being dependent on people. So, what's your take on family? <sighs> well, Mikey, see, growing up, I, I, I didn't come from a normal family background. See, I've touched on this before in other, like, interviews, promos. Um, my dad, my, my dad used to beat me over and over. And it was his way of teaching me a lesson that I had to be either the strongest kid on the street, or if I couldn't be the strongest, I had to be the one that nobody was prepared to even get into a fight with. Because if they won, they'd still not want to touch me because it doesn't feel like winning. That's interesting. So that's, that's, that's your take on, on family. Well, it's part of it. I mean, you see, I'd say this is funny, but it's my kind of funny. Um, after my mother finally realized what kind of a man my father was, she left him and we moved in with another man. And this man was a completely different kind of guy. Like he, he was, he was the kind of dad that you wanted to have. But just like how we wear this face paint is a mask. He wore a mask himself, this mask of perfection. See, my stepdad, what he doesn't tell a lot of people is, he tried to commit suicide. His own daughter walked in on him and he was in the, the bath, bleeding out. See, so that, that was the, the next man to, um, to be a role model for me. So growing up, the family that you had were two very unstable individuals as male role models. Oh, yes and no. See, stability, it's, it's, it's another one of those, those labels that society likes to push on people. I mean, we've all got to be something. As I say there, I, I have to be Michael or I have to be Mikey. There's, there's no, there's no grey ground, there's no in-between. Not for society, but 
my dad, my stepdad. I, I, I had a fantastic grandfather. Like my grandfather, he was he was the rock. He was the he was the guy that taught me how to uh, tie my laces. Uh, he was the one that took an interest in everything. Like, but on the same note, it's like this 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 man is the same one that growing up would never hug me. Like he would no never show any sign of affection towards me because that's not what men do. What do you mean that's 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 not what men do? Well again, society. Uh, men are men, women are women, men are the, the breadwinners, women are the homemakers. Uh, women are emotional, men are stoic. That's how I was brought up. So it's fair to say you had quite a complex family life. So would you say this has a lot to do with who and what you became? See Mikey, it's, it's not. Like it's, it's, it's nothing and it's everything. I'm, I'm not one of them people that puts blame onto others. I am me, we are us. So, I've, I've watched what Stevie said and I've watched what Renfrew said and it's this man and this guy and that guy's problem. I'm fully aware of the situation that I'm in right now and it being on me and I chose that. You, you chose this? Can, can you elaborate on that? Everything in life is a choice. Like, we look at everything that's happened since my return. Stevie had a choice he could have walked away, but that petulant child that is in him, he had to fight. Renfrew, he had a choice. He could have gone with the plan. He could have stood next to me and we could have pushed Stevie together to being the man that he's destined to be. But instead, he made a choice. Jimmy Havoc. We, we, we won't hear from Jimmy. Sadly, the doctor is now indisposed. Um, and that's probably for the best because we won't get a sane answer from Jimmy. See, this is the difference between Jimmy, Stevie and Renfrew. Jimmy's, Jimmy's that rabid, rabid dog that you cannot reason with. I, I thought I could reason with Renfrew. And I couldn't, but I'm sure there's somebody out there that possibly can. With Stevie, it's quite clear when you see how he looks at Kaylee Ray, there is somebody that can get through to him. Jimmy, that's not the case. There was no reason for Jimmy to get involved with what I'm doing right now. He made a choice, a decision that he had to prove that he was crazier, more insane than the three 
or the men that are going to be in this match. It's a very interesting take on this situation. So you say words like crazy and insane. Are you crazy? Are you insane, Michael? Well, Michael, I think you've, <laughs> you've pretty much answered your own question. Quite literally. I mean, who has this kind of conversation with themselves? Certainly isn't a sane man. But insanity is misunderstood. It's, it's that fine line where genius ends and that darkness creeps in and insanity takes over. So, do you have any more questions about me and my sanity or lack thereof? In all honesty, Michael, I don't think I could ask any more of you. Do you have anything extra to add? November 19th, people are going to realise that that line that they can't distinguish between with me and you, the reason they can't distinguish is because it was never there. There are no labels. Michael John Gilbert, Mikey Whiplash, we are one in the same. That's why I am Legion and I am many. <laughs>